<laughs> but I, it's either I, someone buys me a copy or I, Jack Sparrow gives me one. <laughs> that those are the two circumstances where I will do it. Other than that, no, not a not a nickel comes out of me buying that game. Yeah, man. All right. So uh, this article comes to us from SmashJT.com, man. What's going on? Shout out to him. Thus born the biggest failure in video game history. Thanks to governmental funding, Thus born crashes and burns. A flop of epic proportions in modern gaming history, man. And uh, just for, j- just for uh, you know, shits and giggles, let's go ahead and bring up the current Steam charts of Dustborn. It is not good, okay? I saw Madam Savvy playing it, and it makes me want to rip off my eyelids. That's pretty damn bad. Because if you go down over here, this is Dustborn. 29 current players right now. Madam Savvy is probably one of them. 75 peak and an 83 all-time. This came out three days ago. Yeah. And this game is $30. We have more viewers than their all time peak. <laughs> that's saying something, man. That's funny, dude. Yeah, that's saying something. Yeah, we're a small YouTube channel, and the fact that we have more, more people interested in watching two weird Asians, you know, talking random crap online versus playing this woke game. But man, this is really bad, dude. All right, let's go back to the article right over here. In what can only be described as one of the biggest flops in gaming history since release a couple of days ago, Dustborn from Red Thread Games has hit an all-time peak of just dot, 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 83 concurrent players. Currently, the game is struggling to muster even half of the number at any given moment. For the title that just launched two days ago, as of writing this, the performance isn't just disappointing, it's beyond catastrophic. As I stated previously, Dustborn had all of the makings of a failure of a uh, game on paper, developed by the same team that brought to us the, deve- the, the developed, um, sorry, beloved Dreamfall series to publish under by Spotlight by Quantum, Dr- sorry, Quantic Dream Label. Sorry, uh, the game could have been a home run, but I think we have to read more in order to to see more of his stuff. But yeah, it's uh the thing is that oh my god, this guy again. But yeah, it's not great. Uh, the game the game is not doing well, and there is another game that I talked about that is, that actually did an all time peak that did better than um than this game. Gray, uh, do you know that there's a game right now that's so crazy that's at, like I know that I didn't think that this was actually going to be a game that has. More than, I would say this game, the game that I'm going to show you has a all-time peak of 2,001 players. And it's called Sex with Hitler. (laughs) (laughs) There's this game called Sex with Hitler that came out almost two years ago, had an all-time peak of 2,000. (laughs) <laughs> Dustborn that came out three days ago has an all time of 83. The fact that you have a troll game that has gotten way more, way more actual cont, uh, you know, p- people loving the game than, uh, than, than Dustborn. How do you feel about that, man? Yeah, it says something when even if you combine that with Concord. Sex with Hitler still has more all-time peak than those two games combined. And it probably costed them a lot less to make the game compared to... This one costed 150,000 euros or pounds. Then Concord costed, I believe, between 200 to 300 M dollars. Mm. So, yeah, you guys got better start listening if you want to stay in business or keep your jobs. Otherwise, poof. You're going to be unemployed and then you're going to blame the world for it even more instead of just listening to people and actually, you know, making your lives better and not having to. Yeah. Imagine the philosophy of Dustborn, right? I I, I read in, the, in that part place, I think that their logic is they were so outraged by the 2016 elections, hence how this game was born. Really? And that's the per- 
yeah, that's yeah, yeah. There has to be there's an article somewhere that's I'm not sure if it's part of the articles that I've sent you, but that's their ra- their that's the rational, that's the thought process of Dustborn. Like they were so outraged that Trump won and shit like that. That's how this game was born. So that's why it's literally DEI, the video game. Yeah. So I'll, and it, I'll, I'll try to look for it. Yeah. And the thing is that there's a game that came out two months ago, which is a game of you just clicking on a banana that has 405,000 players playing it right now. This game is a not this game is a non-game. It's literally yeah. a screen of a banana and you click it. That's it. Yeah. It's like click the cookie, right? I that was yeah. Did re- yeah. <laughs> cookie clicker, I think. That's the name yeah. Of so okay. So here's another one right over here. This is the actual. So, imp- this is the fact that this is one of the options in the game is crazy. Right, right over here. A uh, female officer. What fellow you're with uh, a black kid, dresses like a writer. Does he know anything? You are racist. Oh my god! No. <laughs> oh my god! I, imagine, imagine the voice actress during that time. She must have felt really, really empowered. But you are racist. Imagine how much feeling she had, how much adrenaline she had when she was recording that. <laughs> but speaking of cringe, there's more cringe, and no way. Dust born the song. Yeah. I uh, I'm going to play this for a couple seconds and if oh my uh. We're the aliens. We're the refugees. We walk among you. This is worse than like a lot uh, like, like like a dragon. Yeah, uh, definitely. Okay, give credit to Yong. Yeah, okay. There's someone worse than him now. Oh my god, this this is worse than like a dragon, man. This is fu- oh my god, dude. We're right behind you. Time is oh my god. Oh my god! I'm I'm, no, no, no! I'm 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 done. No, uh, I I'm not. I'm not sitting through another minute listening to this cringe song. Oh my god, man! This is this is yeah. This is so bad, man. Holy crap! Oh man, this is all right. So this is the article you sent over right over here. This is from Dad Park Place. Yeah, and and I sent you the quote, like the um the inspiration, shall we say, about the game. Okay. All right. Uh, see. All right. So right over here, this is back in Ju- back in July, following the release of the game's trailer, a representative of the game conducted an interview with PSU and confirmed that the entire game was spawned out of the protest against Donald Trump being elected president of the United States of two thousand. Well, they're going to be making another game. Just like you know, this company is going to be making another game because as of right uh, now, like with the backing of RFK Jr., Trump is looking like he's going to legit like pull ahead now. Like, imagine if if he wins. How imagine how crazy these people will make? They're going to be making this game called Trump is the worst, and then it's just like uh, it's about him <laughs> being like a bad guy. Oh my god, dude, I. These people who have like t- yeah. hardcore TBS. Like, yeah. People in Norway, please please have please have the willpower to tell your government to not fund these kind of BS shit anymore. <laughs> Let your tax taxpayers' money go to something more productive or more beneficial to everyone. How does people of Norway have anything to do with the fucking United States? It's yeah, like right. Exactly. It's like, are, exactly, wait, right? why are you guys mad? He's our president. Yeah. Like, shut the fuck up. You know, worry about your own shit, man. Like, are you... mm-hmm. oh my God. These people who have yeah, TBS it, it, are so cringe, yeah, dude. Yeah, it, it, it's like government backed by Norway. How, how, how fucked up that is that, like, to make a game about anti American instead of, you know, 
um, green lighting projects that benefit the people of Norway. I don't get it, man. I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, man. I, to be honest, I'm, I'm glad they have 29 players right now. I'm, I'm glad. Is because this game is $30. I'm not, if this game was like two bucks or maybe even free, I'll consider playing it. But nope. Yeah. Not playing only, this garbage yeah, game. I'll only play it if people gave it to us for free. <laughs> yes, that's the only that's the only way. And chat, do not give this this game to us for free. Okay. Do not <laughs> give this game to us. <laughs> we don't want to play it. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.